I'm in Biloxi, Mississippi to visit a few historical sites that were destroyed by Hurricane Camille. The Trinity Episcopal Church, Richie U Apartments, and the USS Camille Boat and Gift Shop. However, there are many more spots. These are the three that I wanted to see for myself. Now let's go back to see what it did look like in 1969 and in today's time. This was the site of the Trinity Church in Past Christian, Mississippi on August 16, 1969. Hurricane Camille made landfall as a Category 5 late evening on August 17, 1969. 173 mile per hour winds causing damage to anything in its path. Sadly, the Trinity Episcopal Church was destroyed. This is the before and after pictures. Sometime around 2008-2009, a new church was built in its place. It's now just a big field with a small playground for kids to play. So these are the grounds where the church was at. There's the playground. And right behind the playground with this forest is where the apartments were. That's where we're gonna go next. Let's go check out that area. This was the site of Richie U Apartments back in 1969. This spot was famous for the hurricane party. Rumors say that a total of 24 people stayed behind at the apartments to party during Camille. They were told to leave by a police officer. They didn't listen so they ended up paying their price and dying. 
this is the before and after pictures. Fast forward to 1990, it was later turned into a shopping center. Hurricane Katrina wiped that out in 2005. In 2015, it was turned into a walking trail. As of 2021, this is what it looks like now. So this is where the apartments used to be, right here. It's weird to think I'm walking on the grounds of where the building was at one point. It's now turned into a walking trail. And the trees that you're seeing around me, they survived Camille and Katrina. And his house is in the back too. Obviously they probably had damage done. And I see like they're building a new one to the right hand side. I wonder how much damage that house received during the two hurricanes, Katrina and Camille. Here's a poll that says emergency, so I guess if you need help with something, push that button right there. So these are a list of coastal trees in this area. This is what it looks like after years. Right in front of you is where the boat was at, USS Camille. This was the site of the USS Hurricane Camille. The 80-foot tugboat was pushed ashore onto someone's property by Hurricane Camille in August of 1969. The tugboat started getting attraction from locals and tourists after the hurricane. It was pushed 200 feet from shore, and it was in an unusual spot. The tugboat was later purchased by a couple and changed the name to USS Hurricane Camille after the storm. In 1970, the couple opened up a tiny gift shop right next to the vessel. It was listed on RoadsideAmerica.com. On August 29, 2005, Hurricane Katrina destroyed the boat and the gift shop. Sometime in May of 2008, the USS Camille and gift shop was demolished. It was in such bad shape after Hurricane Katrina. This landmark is what you see in 2021.
pretty big boat. This used to be a gift shop right here. So this is all that remains of it. Oh look, here's foundation. Other pieces as well. Out of the two spots that we've already visited, now that we're at the third location, I find this one a bit more interesting. I don't know why, but I do. Someone just pointed out that this is a little... Wait, what would you say this was again? Planter. Oh, planter. It was a part of the So right in the middle of this memorial is a hurricane, which is Hurricane Camille. It was a lot cleaner at one point, and I'll show you a picture of what it looked like before it was all dirty. It really needs to be cleaned, honestly. Right in the middle where my finger is, that's where the eye of the hurricane is, right there. On the memorial has names of people who have gone missing and died and a section that says unknown. Can you believe it's been 52 years since it made landfall today?
So it looks like the pole is bent. I don't know if this is from Camille or what, but that's pretty strange. I hope you enjoyed my documentary on Hurricane Camille. I'll see you in the next video.